In this tutorial, I will show you how to make your URDF files more dynamic with Zacro, and we are going to focus more specifically on macros. So basically how to create a function that you can reuse in a URDF file. So first of all, we need a URDF to start, and I have one already here. So if you want, you can download this. I have provided a link to download in the uh, description below. If not, you can just watch and try to adapt this for your own robot. OK, so let's just uh, open this. I'm going to open with Visual Studio Code here with my robot.urdf. So what do I have in this file? Well, I have a mobile robot Okay, with a base link. Uh, and then I have a LiDAR. OK, I have a left wheel, a right wheel. So this is going to be a differential drive. And then I have a caster wheel in front that's going to be a sphere to just maintain the balance of the robot. And plus, of course, the joints between all of those links. And here, well, I'm going to start by showing you that, well, we have two wheels. We have the left wheel and the right wheel. And as you can see, this is exactly the same code here. OK, we have the exact same visual. So this is going to be a cylinder, the same radius, the same length. Even the origin is the same, the color is the same. The only difference is going to be the name of the link. OK, we have left here and we have right here. That's the only difference. So here, well, we could leave it like this. OK, it's just two times the same code. But if you want to start to repeat that several times and use it in other parts of the URDF, then it might be a good idea to create kind of a function. And so we will be able to create a macro with Zacro here. Or if later on you need to add some inertia values, or if you want to create a sensor that you could add anywhere, for example, the, the LiDAR would be a sensor. If you want to create a sensor that you could add anywhere, then you could also make this as a function, so as a macro. All right, so here I'm going to focus on actually instead of writing link twice here, so instead of writing the complete code twice, I'm going to create a macro so that I can just write the code once. And the first thing we need to do is actually to make this URDF file compatible with Zacro. So I'm going to actually close it and I'm just going to copy it. OK, I'm going to keep the original URDF and I'm going to copy and paste into my robot dot. So usually you could name it my robot dot Zacro. OK, that would work. You could also name it my robot dot URDF dot Zacro. It's going to be the same. OK, just make sure that it ends with Zacro, but then it's really not an issue. OK, I'm going to I'm going to do this. So now I'm going to code my robot URDF dot Zacro. All right, and the code stays the same. We are just going to add in the robot tag. OK, so that's very important. Every for every file where you use Zacro, you need to add this X, M, L and S colon Zacro like this is equal to and then HTTP colon slash slash and then 3W dot Ross dot org slash wiki slash Zacro. Make sure you have written that exactly in the robot tag. OK, I'm going to save. And now with just this, so the Zacro extension and this in the robot tag, we know that this file is now Zacro compatible. And so what I will do now is I will create a macro here so that we don't have to write this code twice. Um, I'm just going to write the macro here for now. Maybe we'll move it later, but it's going to be easier uh, to develop if we have the links here just below. So how to create a macro? You're going to do Zacro colon macro like this. And then you're going to have to define a name. So same thing as when you create a function, you need to give a name. So let's say this is going to be a wheel uh, link okay, because what we really create here is a wheel link and then you can give some parameters. So to give some parameters, you're going to put params and that's going to be the name of the parameters that you pass. Okay, So just for a function. So I'm going to put a prefix here. Why prefix? Because we will actually need to put left or right. This is the only thing that changes in the code. Okay, So we're going to give that as a prefix to the macro. OK, so I'm going to close and then Zacro macro like this. All right, so you don't need to have any parameter, but you can have so you can have one parameter and then you can have 
any other parameter. You just separate them by a space. So here we have prefix and then we have A, B and C. And then inside the macro, what I do is I just actually write the code. So here I'm just going to take this, copy and paste inside and make sure I have the correct indentation. And so let's go line by line here. We have, so we're going to create a link. Okay. The name, so the name is not going to be left wheel. The name is going to be the prefix underscore wheel. Okay. So the prefix, how to use the variable prefix here. I'm going to use dollar sign and then curly brackets and the name prefix. Okay. As simple as that. So dollar sign curly brackets, the name of the variable and you use the variable you got from the parameter. So this one is kind of a local variable inside the function. Okay. And then underscore wheel. Then we have a visual geometry, a cylinder with a radius and a length. Okay. We don't change that. Then the origin, we don't change that. And the material here, we choose gray. That's the material I have defined already here. Okay. And so now that I have this, what I can do instead of creating this link here. So the macro is finished. Okay. Now we need to call it. It's like a, a function. When you create a function, you define the function, but then you need to call the function so that the function is used. Okay. Otherwise it's not going to be used. And so what I will do is I will do Zacro and then will link. So why will link? Because this is the name of the macro. Okay. So I put Zacro and then the name of the macro that I have defined, and I will need to put the different parameters here. So the parameter is named prefix. I will need to put prefix. Okay. So if I don't have any parameter, I just close it. Okay. Here I have prefix. So I will put prefix and that's going to be left and I close. And by doing this, this is going to actually, so the, the macro is going to replace that by the code here. So this code here is going to be right there with the prefix here left. So basically we have the same code as this. So now I can remove and then I will do Zacro will link prefix right. And same thing. Now I will have this code, but with right will. So the same as that one. So I can remove this. All right. And so as you can see, now we have written the code only once. This is kind of a function. So here in Zacro, we call that a macro with a name and some parameters. And we just call the macro like this. And now, well, if you visualize this URDF in Arvis, that's going to be the exact same. Okay. With Zacro, you don't really add any functionality. You just make your code better. And so it's going to be easier to actually scale a URDF using Zacro. All right. And that's the end of this tutorial. If you like the way I teach, well, I have a complete course with more than nine hours of video content where you will learn everything about TF, URDF, about Zacro, also about how to run everything in the launch file, simulate a robot with gazebo, etc., etc. You can find the link in the description below. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one.